You will hear Rahman talking about his experience of almost being accused of committing a crime. For questions 1 to 8, circle the correct answer, A, B, or C. You now have 20 seconds to look at the questions. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. I had completed my Form 6, but I was unable to continue my studies yet, due to financial constraints. I was hoping to get a scholarship. So, I was doing some miscellaneous jobs, to earn some pocket money. I collected scrap metal items, and sold them at a recycling center. One day, as I was on my rounds, I reached my neighbor's house. Mr. Tan had asked me to collect the scrap metal. I collected several large empty tin cans. As I was riding off, I heard some rattling sounds, coming from one of the cans. I stopped by the roadside. I looked inside the can, and found an expensive, shiny watch. I knew something was amiss. I saw James cutting the grass with a lawnmower. He was working as a gardener. I knew James, as he used to tease me a lot at school. I remember James, and some other boys throwing empty cans at me. They used to mock me as I cycled on my rounds. They didn't stop laughing at me. They called me all kinds of names, but I pretended not to care. I was wondering, how the watch ended up in the metal container. After much thought, I rode down the street to Mr. Ton's factory. Mr. Ton owned a hardware factory. I couldn't resolve the issue, unless I found Mr. Ton and told him about it. I knew how to get there, because my father used to work at the hardware factory. As soon as I reached the factory, the security guard escorted me to the manager's office. Sir, this is the thief, the guard said. Look, he has the watch. I was stunned and on the verge of tears. The manager interrogated me, and I kept denying that I stole it. The manager would not listen and brought the matter to the police immediately. I was then taken to a room. As I was waiting there, Mr. Ton walked into the room, and James was with him. James pointed at me and accused me as the thief. How do you know, James? Mr. Ton asked and James could not answer. I didn't even tell you that there was a theft. Mr. Ton began to try to solve pieces of the puzzle. Somehow, he knew that James had to be the culprit. After much interrogation by the police, James finally spilled the beans. He admitted that two other boys were also involved in the theft. Mr. Ton then offered me a job in the factory because I was honest. I had found the watch but I did not keep it, I tried to return it, 